Okay, so in this video, um, I'm not going to be my normal bubbly self because it's a very um, personal story of mine that I'm going to tell, and it's my abortion story. And um, so I guess I'll start from the beginning. What had happened was when I was 16 years old, um, me and my boy, the boyfriend that I am with now, Joey, um, we were still together, um, and we still are together, if you guys want to know that but um so yeah we um were dating we were at two years at that time and um and um so what had happened is i had gotten pregnant we were not using protection because we're just dumb and <laughs> it happened again as you can see again dumbness but um i'll tell you about how i had gotten pregnant in my 18 week update i keep promising to do that but i forget anyways back on track what had happened was I had gotten pregnant because we weren't using any sort of birth control at all. No condoms and no birth control pills or any type of birth control. So that wasn't very smart in our situation, but, you know, I was 16. I was naive. I figured it's not going to happen to me, and it did. So um, when I did find out the news, I was in a Target mall <clears throat> with my best friend Ashley, and um, we had borrowed rather i don't know if, i'm just gonna say borrowed <laughs> we had borrowed a um pregnancy test from target and we used it in the bathroom <laughs> um i hope i don't get arrested for this but um so yeah we had when i had t i had gotten a first response and the two the one that came with two and the first one was the regular one with two little lines on it and the second one that you know that it comes with two little lines the second one was the one that said yes or no which was fairly simple i had gotten that one because yes or no is very blatant very to the point so um the first one came out with two little pink lines which meant that i was pregnant and i still have that um pregnancy test somewhere in my memory closet but um so yeah that had come up and i remember just feeling holy crap like holy crap i am freaking 16 and i am pregnant i was like no way so we waited and waited and waited and she was in the same stall as me it was so funny um not funny but so crazy but um we waited and waited and the second one came out and it said yes and you ever had that feeling where it's so like shocking to you that you can't help but laugh it's like it's not funny at all but you can't help but laugh. And that is exactly what I did. I laughed and I was like, oh my God, this is this is not happening right now. I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't tell my boyfriend a week, um, until like a week after. And his response was very, um, he was excited. I mean, he he loved me and we loved each other. And um, we, had to, we had talked about it and I was like, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. But um, on my mind was never abortion. Um, it just never occurred to me at all. Um, the only thing that I was thinking about was adoption, which um, my boyfriend didn't want to do at the time. And um, which the other thing was just keeping it. So um, I didn't know how I was going to tell my mother. I waited two weeks and I didn't even tell her. She actually found out. She had called me one day when I was at work and she was angry her actually not angry what had i knew she was angry only because her voice was so calm and when my mom is calm which is rare it's scary <laughs> i was like what does she know i never occurred it never occurred to me that she could ever have known that i was pregnant and what happened was she said sierra i just got a really disturbing text message and are you pregnant that's exactly how she said it in a calmer voice than i am doing now and i was just like um, I don't even know how to lie to her at this point. I, I didn't I didn't feel that lying to her would be too smart. So I said, yeah, I am, Mom. And she said, you need to get home right now. Click, hung, hang out, that's it. Like, I was terrified of that. <laughs> my mom doesn't play. I was like, oh my gosh. So um, I jumped on the... Luckily, it was the end of my shift anyway, so I was going home. And we were on our way to the bus anyways, so I jumped on that bus and I think it was the longest bus ride in my life. And my, I, I kept thinking, who could have possibly texted my mother this? Because 
the only per people that knew were my two best friends who do not have my mother's number at all and my boyfriend and um he didn't have my mother's number but i i don't i don't know i still don't know to this day it's it's shocking but whatever anyways um not even going to dwell on that what had happened was when i had gotten home my mom explained to me that she already booked an appointment for me to take care of it and i had no say at all um i was too afraid to tell my mother that i wanted to keep the baby and i don't know i just the look in my mom's eyes of how hurt she was i didn't want to make my mom any hurter any more hurt <laughs> hurter is not a word than what i had already already done you know nobody wants their 16 year old daughter to be pregnant so I, I i didn't even object in my heart i knew i didn't want it like when you go to the abortion clinic they sit you with a counselor and they had my mom come in with me and i was just like i'm not even going to be able to say what's on my mind really because my mom's there i don't i don't i don't tell her i really don't want this um so my mom was there and in my head the doctor was like do you understand what you're doing and all that and i was just like i don't want to do it i don't want to do it i don't want to do it like in my head and um i just i didn't say anything i was just like i understand completely and i just agreed with everything that she said and all of that and the procedure went through the doctor told me that i was eight weeks um whew, hold on okay um sorry about that it gets me a little bit emotional thinking about going through it again it's like it's replaying in my head and i'm reliving it all over again and i just i hate telling this story but i, I want to get it through to you guys but um so anyways at the um clinic he he told me how far along i was and um he said i was eight weeks and at the time i didn't know how far eight weeks was um now that i have that baby center app eight weeks um the baby is already already has a heartbeat and it is developing and all that stuff so when i found that out i just even now thinking about it i just want to burst into tears but um whew. anyways i'm trying not to because now that i am pregnant i'm super emotional so um try not to get to the point of crying but um or tearing up but um any hoodles so Afterwards, literally what I had gotten the, um, I was too far along to take the pills, so, um, I had to do the surgical procedure, and the, um, surgical procedure was not very pleasant, um, I was put to sleep for it, which, when I woke up, I felt like a drug addict, like, literally, I was just like, like, <laughs> it was crazy, and my mom was really nice to me afterwards and all that stuff, and, you know, um, her reasoning was that she couldn't afford it. Um, it would, I mean, it's enough that the apartment that we lived in was small, very, very small. So to add another baby would just be, I don't know how to explain it, just the look in my mom's eyes, I couldn't hurt her like that again. But if I can go back, I would give her the biggest hug and just explain to her mom i can't do it because that was just uh i don't even want to talk about it anymore anyways that is my story on um my first baby when i was 16 and uh yeah it's it's whew, a really emotional thing for me but um it happened you know and i'm not whew, i'm not proud of it of it at all but it is what it is and um yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that my side of the story if you have any questions i'd rather you inbox me because it is a very personal story or whatever i don't know if i'm gonna allow comments only because i don't need the judgment especially on this um it just be kicking a horse that's down at this point if you have any mean or cruel judgments just keep them to yourself i really ask you to um but anyways yeah on a lighter note let's make things a little bit happier <laughs> I have a little someone who wants to say hi to you guys. Okay, so on a lighter note, uh, my little Moogie Lukey wanted to say hello. Yeah, Moogie. She, <laughs> she's really active right now. I don't know why. She is just being crazy. Well, crazy ball. Um, I'm sitting on my couch, and 
she was I just let her run free on the couch because she won't she won't jump off it she's too scared so while I'm doing the video she was just going bananas on the couch there really. she was just climbing up my leg and stuff hey Moogie cuz you're just a crazy hamster I'm just a crazy hamster anyways thanks for listening to my story um so yeah that that was my abortion story um and I hope never to talk about that story again. So, <laughs> but any questions or concerns you have, you can definitely write me a message, inbox me if it's personal, or you can write it in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye. Say goodbye, Moogie. Say goodbye. Mm, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>